Hi, I'm Mojo Zhao from the JSK Robotics Lab in the University of Tokyo. And it's my great honor to be here to introduce our latest work about the transformable air robot. So recently, the multi-rotor air robot has been developed rapidly to perform autonomous tasks with very complex maneuvers. But on the other hand, most of the air robots are rigid. That means the motion, the flight motion is limited to six laws. But why cannot the air robot have a multi-link structure like this? And what is the advantage of such special structure? So I think the, be, the, be, uh, the biggest benefit of this structure is the aerial transformability can enable various applications, such as the transportation to car carry a big object, the manipulation in the air like a human arm, and the exploration in narrow space. So the basic uh, motivation of our research is to achieve the transformable air robots to enable this kind of high-level application. So in our previous research, the air robot with the two-dimensional multi-rotor uh, structure have been first developed and the related unique work such as the whole body manipulation to grasp and carry object and the fly motion to pass through a narrow gap by transformation have been achieved. But there's a crucial, short, uh, crucial shortage in this robot model that is, the error transformation is only two-dimensional and the application is limited. So in this work, we developed the design the modeling control method to achieve this advanced error robot called Dragon, which can perform the multi dof error transformation in the three-dimensional space. So let me explain the method of each part. So first, regarding to the me uh, design method, we developed the generalized link, un link unit and the first important component is the dual rotor gimbal module. In this work, we defined the two dot vectoring mechanism as the gimbal module, which is controlled by uh, two servo motors. And the most important attributes of this module is the counter rotating rotors can counteract the drag moments and the gyroscopic moments, which can benefit a lot for the later derivation of, of the modeling and the control. And the second important component is the two dot joint module, which is composed from two identical single joint structures. And the two rotation axes are orthogonal, and the joint is also controlled by the, joint, uh, the server motor. So these two co um, fundamental modules enable the multi dot uh, error transformation. Next, the modeling for the kinematics and dynamics is uh, addressed. Well, to tackle the high complexity of the multi-linked model, we simplify it by two steps. The first step is the approximation under essential assumption. That is, we consider all joints move slowly. So the model can be regarded as a rigid body at each time step. Then the general dynamics equation about the rigid body can be applied. However, this model is variable um, since the robot transforms. For example, the in initial parameters is variable, and next, the rotor configuration is also variable, leading to the change of the total range on the COG frame. But uh, as explained before, the drag moments and the gyroscope moments can be ignored, so the total range can be described easily like this. After the approximation, the linearization around the uh, horizontal conditions is performed, but generally the orientation of the COG frame is identical with the base link, uh, which is attached with the IM sensor. In this work, we define a special relationship between the COG frame and the base link as shown in this uh, equation, and this makes the desired orientation of the COG frame is always horizontal. Of course, the desired orientation of other links can be arbitrary. Consequently, the linearized dynamics model regarding to the COG frame is available around the horizontal conditions. And this is very useful for the next con uh, control method. In this work, there are two types of control inputs. One is the thrust force, in other words, is the rotor speed, and the other is the gimbal tilt angles. Considering the different responsiveness for the rotor speed control and the gimbal uh, server control, we separate the control system into two parts. The first part is the thrust force controller to 
generate the desired force, and the second part is the rotor gimbal controller to generate desired tilt angles. Besides, the blue symbols are considered as the model parameters, which, uh, which reflect the variable attributes of this dynamics model. So regarding to the thrust force controller, we first analyzed the hovering equilibrium to find the corresponding tilt angles and the force to counterbalance with the gravity. But in this part, the gimbal tilt angles are fixed. So we can find only the roll pitch, rotation motion and the altitude motion are influenced by the thrust force. Then the corresponding set equation around the horizontal condition can be derived <clears throat> and the optimal control called LQI is applied here. The optimal control is used here in consideration of the valid range of the thrust force to avoid the saturation. The rotor gimbal controller as another part of our control system is required not to influence on the thrust force controller. So we assume the horizontal force generated by the gimbal control is much smaller than the desired thrust force, uh, which is generated by the former thrust force controller. In other words, the desired gimbal angles should be very small. With such assumption, the dynamics model associated with the gimbal con control can be derived, which contains the rotational motion and the tr horizontally uh, translational motion. And with this model, the desired horizontal force can be obtained from the general PID control based on the pseudo inverse metrics. And finally, the desired tilt angles can be calculated from the desired vector force based on the simple geometry allocation. Based on the proposed uh, method of the design moving control, the prototype composed from the four links is constructed in this work as showing the upper right figure, uh, figures, the 3D position and the yellow angles are measured by the motion capture and the onboard processors are responsible for the update of the kinematics model and the real-time control system as presented before. And another important feature of our platform is the internal communication system which connect the main board and the distributed board in each link. We use light and reliable CAM protocol for it. Prior to the evaluation for the air, air transformation, the stability of the ho hovering under the fixed form is force tested. Here we show the results of the representative forms and uh, we confirm the relative stable hovering. But on the other hand, we also observed some relatively large some regular deviation about the position control. And we, con we consider one of the crucial regions is the saturation of the thrust force, since the voltage drop is significant while the large currency is required. And then the max value of the force will decrease, but the parallel connection of the battery at each link can be one of the effect effective solution for it. And then the large scale air transformation is evaluated. The linear interpolation between the following start and the goal forms is performed. And the right figures indicate the tracking errors of the position and the orientation regarding to the COG frame are relatively small. And this also demonstrates the feasibility of our proposed methods on design, modeling, and control. In the end, I want to show you our late breaking achievement, uh, which is one of our target application as presented at the beginning. And that is the motion to pass through a small opening by air transformation. As you see, there is a small horizontal opening, which is smaller than the prototype dragon under the normal form, which is the 0 0.8 versus 0 0.6. To traverse this opening, the error transformation is performed based on the manually designed paths. Uh, let's start this. Someone might say, this opening is still big enough for the small error robot to pass without any difficulties. But the point is not the absolute scale, but the relative difference 
between the opening and the robot. You can see the robot can pass through this relatively small opening by transformation smoothly, demonstrating the high potential to the explore, exploration task in a complex environment. So to conclude, we developed the design, modeling, and the control system method to achieve the dual rotor embedded multi-linked aerial robot, and also we achieved the large-scale aerial transformation. In the future work, we will develop our model and the control methods without the rigid body assumption, and also move forward to develop the autonomous platform for the high-level application. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions? Oh, there is one. <laughs> so in the experiments, I saw that the direction of the thrusters was kept basically always uh, parallel to the gravity vector. So, uh, you mean the tilt angles? Sorry. The, the orientation of the thrusters. The orientation was always uh, pointed, the thrusters were, all, were always pointing vertically, right? If, if I'm not wrong. Even when yeah. the link was uh, tilted, the thrusters yes, were yes. put in a way that. So uh, was this done? Um, so is this forced by, by design, by the designer of the controller, or is the controller choosing this orientation because it's optimizing something? I think special? Uh, this is pretty knowledge for our control system. Because the, uh, up uh, direction is our the nominal model for the pose. So that will be the stable state. I mean, so even there's uh, some tilt angles, it will be very small. Yeah. Uh, but during motion, maybe uh, tilting this angle might help, I don't know. So why is the controller keeping oh. this, this angle always uh, very small? I don't um, know. Do you have an idea about which could be the reason? This is small, it's one of our assumptions for the control. We have to keep the angle small. This is a, the condi predic condition for it. And uh, on the other hand, actually, even though it's very, very small, the power is enough for the, the robot to control its translational motion because all, all of the propeller will tilt to the same direction. The sum will be very big. Okay.